Hello video creators, welcome to HitPaw channel. This is the second episode of our HitPaw video editor guide series. In today's video, we will go through the interface of HitPaw video editor. Before we start, why not spend one second to hit the subscribe button to get the latest editing tips and tricks from our channel. This should be a great help for us. So are you ready to start the exploration? Let's jump in. The first step of the journey is to download the software from hitpaw.com, we are sure you can handle this. So once we have it on the desktop, click on the icon to open it. If it is the first time to open it, a window will pop up and ask us to choose free trial or complete version. We can use all the features in free trail version, however, there will be a watermark on the exported video. Or we can buy the certificate to activate it, enter the email address and the registration code to register, then there won't be any watermark when exporting. Now we have the interface here. It can be divided into five parts, we will go through them one by one in the order of video editing. The first part is the menu bar, all the basic settings about the editor itself can be found here. In the Preferences tab, there are 16 languages available to use. Hardware acceleration can help accelerate the preview and export speed, we can enable or disable it anytime we want. Media and project settings allow us to customize the duration of materials, and change the ration and frame rate of our videos. In the hotkeys settings we can see all the hotkeys in the editor, they will enhance the efficiency of editing. We are free to change the hotkeys if necessary. There is nothing to worry if we can't remember all of them, only a part of them will be often used, and we will go over them many times in this guide series. Besides that, whenever we meet problems or have any good suggestions for the product, we can go to help, watch our guide or send us feedback. Every feedback will be cherished and dealt with our best efforts. We will skip the register tab for we have mentioned it earlier. And on the other side of the menu, we can see a big export button, this is for exporting the videos we edit. Basically this is the menu, now we head to the second part, which is called the media library. This is the place to keep all the media materials, such as video, audio, image and GIFs. We can click to import the videos we want to edit, or drag them side the media library. If there are too many media files here, we can choose the order of putting them, so that we can quickly find the material we want. Apart from that, HitPaw Video Editor also offers different media materials, including sound, text, stickers, transition effect and filters for us to use. Inside these features, we can modify and customize these materials, put them in videos and make a lot of cool stuff with our imagination. The third part is called the preview window. It is used for previewing the videos we make. As you can see that the materials here are small, so we will need a bigger screen to view it. That is how the preview window works. When we click one material, we can immediately view it from here. When editing, this will be the preview of the final video, that's how we don't miss out any detail of videos. The next part is the timeline. It takes up nearly a half space of the editor, which shows how important it is for editing. The track here is the main video track, we can place our main videos here, just drag and drop, like this. The tracks are unlimited, we can add as many tracks as necessary. Besides videos, sound and all the materials in the media library can be placed in the timeline. Through this, combining videos, creating effects and adding transitions can be done in the timeline. We can watch the preview window to see the editing result. Above the timeline is the quick toolbar. These are some editing tools for us to trim and crop videos, change speed, operate delete, redo and undo. Everything about cutting and combining work will be done in the timeline area. Here we reach another important part of this journey, which is the properties. Here is a collection of the media we select. From videos and sound, to any other media materials you can find on the editor. We can not only view the media information here, but also change the parameter. Through this, we have the ability to modify and customize the size, the color, and reach many other effects to make our videos become cool. And last but not least, when everything is done, let's click on the export button to end today's guide journey. We can change the name, select an address, choose format and resolution, then click OK to export. That is the full procedure of editing a video ourselves. Cool, so here is the end of today's guide. If you like this video, please subscribe and share it with others. This will be a great help to us. And feel free to leave comments on how you want us to improve HitPaw Video Editor, 
We will cherish every comment and try to be better. Alright then, see you next time.